Hi there, this is Amanda Hill from the Social Media Cafe and we're now going to do number three, which is notifications. Now, that's your third one of your little icons that are just next to the Facebook um, picture of just up here. So let's just click through on it. And what I want to do is click on see all notifications. And that gives you the whole lot. Now, this is Paris's account again, and I'm showing you this for those of you who haven't really used a Facebook account. Mine is far too cluttered, and I'm connected to an awful lot of people. But actually what Paris shows you is the viral nature of how Facebook works. So because Paris is now in the private social media cafe group, which if you just click on that will take you through to the group, and then I'll just backspace to come out of it, because you don't need to be in there. Sorry guys, I'm invading your privacy of your private group, let's just come back. Um, so because Paris is part of that, and dependent on how her settings are set, she will see varying different things. So she could get some of these by text message or by the RSS feed. And for varying reasons, I don't think I would want to be text every time certain things happened, and I certainly don't want RSS feed of everything going on Facebook. It would be far too much of a nightmare for me. Um, but what she can see at the moment, she can see that I've posted in the social media cafe. She can also see Chris. Now let's just click through to Chris. Um, Chris is really sweet and he runs a payroll company and cracking service these guys offer. Now she can see Chris because she's part of the group and also because Chris is a friend of me. Now if she then decided she wanted to connect to Chris, I would recommend she sends him a message and then sends add friend. Now by sending a message to somebody that you want to connect with, you have far more chance of them actually connecting with you, especially if they're not sure who exactly you are. She can also subscribe to Chris and listen to what Chris is saying without actually having to be a friend. And I have that option on mine as well. And as you can see, Chris has the new timeline. How cool is that? Very nice picture, sir. Now, Chris is a lovely person and in a million years you wouldn't want to block him. However, if you did get some people sending you notifications in messages and you did need to do that, what you would do is you would look for this little section here and you'd click on down and you'd pick report and block. Now it's an awfully long time since I had to do this, however, what it would do is it would give you some choices of why you wish to block those people. Now I'm hoping you're not going to have to do that, so it's there just in case you need to. Um, this one that says poke will send Chris a message, which is a nudge. I personally don't like this feature on Facebook and was um, under the impression that it was disappearing, but it doesn't appear to have yet. But while we're on Chris's um, timeline, you can actually see in this section here, mutual friends. So when you do start building up um, a selection of people that you're connected with, you will see you're connected to X number of friends. So that's your notifications, which are just up here. If you do have new notifications, it will have a little red box with a number on it. And if you want to go down and see them all, they're all down here. If it's getting a bit busy in there, you need to change them in your preferences. And we're going to go and look at that in another video.